Now today's show is a little bit different because normally we are live in the shed. Well, today we're live in the lounge. So today's uh, live all about Guernsey. Any questions about what it's like to live in Guernsey, let me know. Uh, anything you want to ask about what it's like to live in a small little island, you can let me know. And uh, yeah, it's good to be on the chat again. This is the first one I've done, which is in the morning. I've never done a live this early in the morning. It's always evenings, but it makes a bit more sense because obviously in the in the evenings, this is bedlam around here. There's like kids screaming and I've got literally like it's morning off. So what I can do gives me time just to have peace and quiet in the house and there's no one going to be, um, you know, no one's going to be running in, knocking things over. So I thought I'd see how this one goes in the morning. It's quite good to do a live in the morning, actually. I'm quite, um, quite, quite enjoying it. So leave any comments, say hello. Uh, I've done a live. Do you know how long it's been since I've done a live? I think it's been a few months. I had a big gap, then come back and did one. But, you know, it's, it can be quite difficult. But I, I really like them. I love the lives. Um, so... You know, they're, they're a nice way of sort of connecting with everyone because when I do videos, you know, you upload a video and you publish it. But you don't really get to interact with people, right? You see numbers going up, 500 views, 600 views, but you don't really like, you know, this is, this is, you can't, can't beat this. So anyway, what's been going on in Guernsey? Quite a lot. We've had Storm Kiran. You may have seen it on the news. I mean, it's been in a lot of places um channel islands got hit pretty bad to be fair um so you know i know most of you watching this are familiar with channel islands and blah 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 but if you're not so the channel islands are in, in between the united kingdom and france and there's loads of little islands there's jersey home Albany, sark jetu and we it was thursday morning we got the you know the pretty decent big brunt of it um, it was, it started early in the morning around what, four or five in the morning. And then it just got like really strong winds over a hundred mile an hour winds. Jersey had it a lot worse, a lot worse. Jersey had like, um, like they had a little, little tornado. And I heard on the news this morning, apparently it's the strongest one for quite some time. I mean, Jersey, you know, if anyone's watching this live from Jersey, uh, leave something in the comments. I mean, it was bad. I, I watched, um, there's actually like a, a vlogger, what's he called? The Reluctant Outdoorman or something from Jersey. I was watching him and he did like a little, he walked along around like St. Brellard's Bay. And there was like part of a house missing and like a roof had been ripped off a house. And it was just like horrendous what, what they've had. So, I mean... Um, I'd sort of, you know, when, when you see what happened there, it's, we had, we had a lucky escape. I mean, yeah, we did have damage. We've had a lot of trees down. And if you watch my videos, you'll see I did like, um, I actually went out in the storm. I don't know if you saw it. <laughs> I went out, I maybe shouldn't have. Um, I went out because I wanted to do a video and I walked down the road and it was just, horrendous it was I probably shouldn't have gone out um I walked across the road I just thought I won't go far I just film like round here and it was just horrendous really but yeah it was uh not not very um not very nice at all I must admit but it's funny because I strapped all the stuff down in the in the um garden you know because they said oh there's a storm coming they give you a bit of warning so I you know went round and I sort of strapped all the garden furniture down I like Sienna's got a slide and all that and I'd move the slide and I took the slide apart strapped it all down I actually strapped the climbing frame to the fence and all the garden furniture I pushed all to the side of the um all to the side of the garden and I I put a big brick on the table and I thought well it's going to be strong I don't know how bad it's going to be and I thought, if anything doesn't survive, the greenhouse ain't going to survive. And uh, it did. Nothing happened in the greenhouse at all. Unbelievable. Um, 
Not for nothing in the greenhouse at all, which was pretty unbelievable. So yeah, if you want to leave any leave any comments, um, ask what you like. If you want to ask them about the storm, as I say, I was, we, we stayed home because the Thursday morning they recommended we didn't go out because it was quite horrific, really. But yeah, um, so the greenhouse survived, surprisingly. Oh, look who it is. It's Hello. Fallon. So where are you going, Fallon? I'm off to work now, so I can say bye. No one's left a comment yet, Fallon. So Someone I don't has. Know what's Someone says watching from Nepal. Oh, yeah, watching from Nepal. Nepal. Hello, Nepal. How are we doing? How do you say that? I'm yeah, used to it. Really. He's from Nepal. Uh, watching it's from in India. Sucker. Sorry, it's de I'm, I'm no good at reading normal words, let alone... What's that? Fuck or? Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But no, we don't want to. We don't want to. Um, I don't want to mispronounce it something. But yeah, Nepal. Wow. How good's that? India. There's a... Well, I found I'm going to tell you, a lot of people at the moment... Um, you know quite a few people from India now. We have got so many people, people in Guernsey that uh that are coming up to me saying oh hi we know you from hey we've watched your channel a lot of people and in hospitality lately hospitality i've been um yeah nice to meet you haven't they so yeah you sort of you get to this weird because i don't know if the chat's working if you're watching leave a comment because we've had a lot of problems just give us a thumbs up we'll give us a... oh yes susan susan ashcroft hello See, regular. See, I don't do a live for so long and the old crew's back, Susan. I told my nan a pat to watch, but I said I wouldn't be making an appearance. Your nan might be sent on. Susan, morning, Ross and Fallon. Just found you alive by chance. Uh, which were the worst part of the Guernsey? Happy birthday to my mum, by the way, if she's watching. Happy birthday to Claire. Uh, she's out for love. She's looking good for 90, isn't she? 95. Really good. Um... Yeah, which part, uh, so Susan, hi Susan, thanks for commenting, uh, just found you live by chance, yeah we don't normally go live now, I mean we're ready for work, I, I go to work, um, yes, I'm enough to go now, okay, what, okay. no you've got to stay here, i got to go, I've got clients, uh, there's no dedication, well you need to cancel, half ten, so I'll go, oh, okay, that's I'll the good thing about Guernsey, it literally takes me ten minutes to get to work, so, yeah, it's like perfect. The traffic is bedlam in Guernsey today. Yeah, they closed is. the Blay Road. I was gonna go to the gym, Bye. and I just give up. Right, see you later. See you later. Um, I was gonna go to the gym. I just give up. The traffic. If you live in Guernsey, you'll see what I mean. Oh my lord, the traffic is horrific. I mean, I know it's not bad compared to maybe cities, but believe me, for Guernsey Day, you couldn't get to the front without waiting forever. So I just come home. Anyway, Susan, uh, your question, which were the worst parts of Guernsey affected? Um, I think it was a bit of everywhere. It was St. Saviour's, West Coast always gets battered a bit. I mean, forest, is quite bad. forest. it's weird. We, uh, as you drive around the island, I went for a drive around the island the day after and we just had loads of trees down everywhere. Um, it's, it's all, it was spread out from what I can see. It was, um, you know, you go for drive, there was trees down, huge trees. Somray Park, don't know if you know it. Huge trees, like, look like they've been there for, ye you know, like hundreds of years, just <laughs> down. It was quite sad. Because you think, like, how long have those trees been growing and they've just been ripped down? I mean, monster, monster roots. Like, you know, when they lift out the ground, you've got a huge ground, like higher than me, twice the size of me, roots out the ground. You think like, how strong were they getting hit? Well, the they said it was gusts over 100 mile an hour in Guernsey, which is actually a lot, I think it was a lot stronger than the, than the UK. Normally UK get from worse, don't they, South UK? But we had it horrific. And Jersey, which is our neighboring island, had it even worse. They had like a little tornado apparently. So there was like bits of roofs missing off Jersey. And like, I mean, there was a thing on the news. I don't know if you saw it. This woman in Jersey, uh, her window was rattling. It blew in to, into a bedroom, the baby and that. Luckily she got away. But I mean, just devastation in Jersey. I mean, we didn't have it as bad as Jersey from what I can see. So, and apparently like someone was telling me yesterday that it was heading for Guernsey 
and it just happened to veer off and it went towards Jersey. I don't know if that's true, but she said she watched it on the news, someone I was chatting to. So we could have had it bad. But yeah, I mean, in answer to your question, Susan, it, I think, yeah, it was just a bit of everywhere. Obviously, places more exposed got hit more, but I mean, I'm on the West Coast, so like, this is where you get battered here. And my greenhouse survived unbelievable because it looks like it's about to fall down. My shed, the felt on the shed, ripped off. Um, there was trees around, fences all fences were like blown away around here. So there's little things like that around here, big trees. I don't know if we had any major structural damage like we did, like roofs coming off. I don't think we had any roofs coming off. Although like tiles, I got a tile in front of my house, was gone, but I pushed that back in, it wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, I was just pleased to get it over with really, because like everyone was, and I know parts of the UK have had it bad as well, self, a lot of rain. Uh, but it was pretty unnerving, you know. It's, I know no one finds it that great, but it was pretty unnerving. I wasn't like over the moon. I some people said oh, they didn't bother him, and I, I, I actually bothers me. I don't like it. I get a bit anxious about it all because like they're telling you it's coming. You know, it's coming tonight. It's like how bad's it gonna be? I get saying how bad's it gonna be, and they're like it's gonna be bad. And we had a big storm in '87 here. I don't know if anyone remember that big storm in '87. And they're like, if it's as bad as that, it's gonna rip places apart. But I don't think it was quite as bad from what people have said. I mean, in 87, I was young. I do remember it. But I remember my dad in the in the uh, conservatory with his crash helmet on. Um, and then all the glass shattering and all sorts. But big greenhouse, you know, the, the um, what's it called? The freezer, the old freezer centre, is it? Guernsey Freezer Centre. That big greenhouse was on its last legs. And the storm just collapsed. It's a huge, long greenhouse. And it just collapsed down. It's still up. It's just dropped. So I'm, you know, um, but yeah, huge tree down Sunway Park, which is a shame. A lot of trees down, little trees around here. Uh, the roads were just covered in sticks and, you know, debris and all sorts. Um, a few of the little islands, Sark, I think, had a big tree down, a few things down. But yeah, by, by what I can see, uh, Jersey had the bad bit for the Channel Islands. Um... Gayan, I hope I'm saying that right. Thanks for uh, commenting. Hi from Sri Lanka. Wow, I just, it blows my mind how this, I'm in my little lounge in the Guernsey in the middle of the channel, in the little island, and uh, Sri Lanka, I went, I've been to Sri Lanka once. Lovely hotel. The driving's mental. And when we drove through, the, I mean, it was just all over the place. Scared me. The Sri Lankan driving, I mean, what is going on with them? It's just crazy, eh? I mean, who knows? Do you even, do you even take a test in Sri Lanka? Let me know. You probably do. Um, Diane Hunt. Diane, hello. Uh, again, thank you for coming back. I recognise you, Diane. Hi from Sussex. So Diane's in Sussex. What was the uh, storm light in Sussex, Diane? Did you get much of it? Or was it not too, too bad? Let me know. Um... Because, you know, I know some places weren't too, too bad, were they? Uh, hi from Sri Lanka again. Uh, ba -ba Helen Jones. Hi, Helen. Nothing next to Birmingham. We got hit by Domingo on Saturday. All right. Was that bad? I haven't heard of that one. Domingo. That's another one. I've noted that one. Let me know about that. Uh, the Petty Train. So the Petty Train. Hello, I see you driving around. So the Petty Train. He's been in quite a few of my videos, actually. If you don't know what I'm on about, the Petty Train. It's a little train that drives around Guernsey. It's amazing. Uh, it's a tiny little thing. It drives around the little roads. It gives little visitors tours of different places. Um, it drives around St. Peterport and all the little roads and I think there's commentary and everyone sits in little carriages at the back, don't they? It's amazing. I'd recommend the, the uh, Petty Train. Um, so the Petty Train says, hey Ross, the train survived the storm top, tucked up in its yard. That's good to know. Uh, tied, tied the kiosk down on the Albert Pier. All good. Phew. Oh, that's good. The Petty Train survived. Uh, we had a bit of warning, didn't we? Which was good. Like we were saying the other day, we were chatting about this and like, 
if we wouldn't have had any warning and it just hit one night, it'd have been ten times worse because I think chairs and tables would have flown in like, in the gardens, would have flown through greenhouses, trampolines would have just disappeared off the island. You know what I mean? But everything we had a bit of warning so people could prepare a little bit, which I think was really, really helpful. But yeah, it's good to know about the petty train. It survived the storm, it was tucked up in its yard. <laughs> nice and warm. Um, but yeah, if you ever do visit Guernsey, the Petty Train, what does it run from the Albert Pier? Uh, I'm trying to think now. Yeah, I mean, I think it's seasonal, isn't it? I mean, you can, Petty Train, you can comment, let me know the times. But yeah, I'd recommend it. It's a good little tour. We went on a, um, the Petty Train in Guernsey. We went on the, the Christmas one, where they take you around. It's in the evening and they drive, and they take you around. You sit in carriages and you drive around the town and you see all the Christmas lights. I did a video on that actually. Uh, look back, it'd have been around Christmas time. But I filmed it. Uh, well, that's good. But loads of comments. As I say, this is the first live I've done in the morning. All the lives I've ever done are in the evening in the shed. But um, at the moment, with uh, the kids and that, I might just do the lives in the morning like this for a little while. Because we've got quite a few people on, loads of comments, it's going really well. And I've got no distractions, there's no kids going crazy anywhere, so it makes sense. And I don't start work till a bit later, so this might be a good one to do. Um, where are we? Chloe, good morning Chloe. Thanks for commenting. Uh, I will get through all the comments by the way, so don't worry. Unless something goes horribly wrong. There was um there was a problem with the with the um messages coming through the other day. So I was watching someone doing a live from here and there was no messages. There was someone else doing a live from Guernsey. Uh but I've got them all on here, that's good. Uh Chloe, good morning. Yep. Craig Woodhouse. Good morning, Craig. How's it going? Hi from Huddersfield, West Yorkshire. The weather hasn't been as bad as Guernsey, but it really wet. We're exposed high up near the uh Pennines. Wow, West Yorkshire. So it hasn't been as bad, okay. But you've got the rain. Yorkshire. Oh, do you know what I drink? Yorkshire tea. There you go. Yorkshire tea. Um I just like it. I used to drink Tatley's, but yeah. I started drinking Yorkshire, it's really nice. So does everyone in Yorkshire drink Yorkshire tea? Mmm, I wonder. Chloe, anything planned for today? Yes, well, this morning I took everyone to preschool and everyone, then I was going to go to the gym. But as I, we've had huge traffic jams because they've closed Bray Road. I don't know if anyone's watching from Guernsey and they tried to get into town this morning. I give up. I just come home. That's why I'm doing this. Uh, I've got work at 11 till about 4. Then, uh, yes, that's my day. So I, I am working today. But I thought this would, this would wake me up doing this this morning. And um, I was, funny enough, I was going to do a live last night, but it just got too late. Then I wasn't planning on doing one this morning. That's why it's quite short notice. But I, I come home and I thought, oh, the traffic's awful. I don't start work till later. I'm just going to go live. Because I want to do them. I love lives. I love lives. I love doing these. I, I almost like them more than doing videos. Um, because, you know, look at this. You get to speak to people. And it's brilliant. So that's what I've got planned for today. Uh, Andy, hi Andy, nice to see you. Chloe, uh, driving is the same in France as it is in Sri Lanka. Yeah, I've driven in France as well. When I drove in France, um, I drove from St. Marlo down to Tours and it was quite, quite the road. I thought the roads were like brilliant. I love driving in France. Uh, that was years ago though. Yeah. Uh, Chloe, did you survive a storm? Any damage? Yeah, I mean, I was saying we we had a bit of damage. The shed, the felt got ripped off near the roof. It's not too bad. Um, I didn't have any damage in my garden, actually. But next door neighbours, all the fences have blown away. Um, then I walked up the road and there's, lo lo you know, like garden fences. A lot of those, that was like a seemed to be like a common thing garden fences have been blown and a lot of trees down a lot of trees and a lot of big trees a lot of big trees like huge trees that are maybe there 100 years or so like quite sad i 
As I say, I say that I, I went and see because I was working at Sunray Park and uh, one of the Karims, and I someone said to me, "I'll go and have a look at the um, there's a big tree down in the in the rose garden, I think it is." And I went there, and it was like a monster tree. There was like it ripped the roots up high in the ceiling. They were just and it was just sailing on the side, and the roots were like towering. You might have seen it. I put it on my video. So yeah, just things like that, but nothing major around here. Jersey had it a lot, lot worse. Um, is that the name of the channel? My my life of guinea pigs and my border collie. Yeah, that is the name of the channel. I like that. My wife. My my wife. What am I on about? What's the time? God, it hasn't been that long. Not my wife. Um, my fo This is all broken. My iPad. I need to get a new one, so I can't see probably. My life of guinea pigs and border collie. What's the weather like today? It's it. The sun's out. Little bit of wind, but nothing. Um, yeah, just a normal sort of. The trees are blowing, but obviously not nothing like we had. Yeah, it's fine. If I take the dog out later, I imagine on the west it's a bit windy, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's a bit all over the place at the moment. Uh, Marky. Morning from the sunny La Gran Boet in Guernsey. I went down there before, actually. I drive around there. Did I say that you, if you've been out, the traffic's horrific. So the, the Boet is about 15 minutes from where I am. Busy around there. Uh, but yeah, hi, Mark. Marky. Nice to hear from you. Chloe, I hope the train is doing the Christmas lights this year, but not sure they are this year. I don't know. Uh, the Petty Train, if you're still watching, let us know in the comments if you're doing the uh, Christmas lights this year. I'll, I'll comment it again. Clo uh, Sienna loved it. Oh, if you saw the comments, sorry, I didn't see that. The Petty Train, we run from the Albert Pier. You are more than welcome to come and do a cab ride for the lights. Kicks off 26th of November. There you go. 26 November for the lights, Chloe. Thank you for that, yeah. Uh, yam Yam 1978, Helen Jones, hi Helen. Hope all's good. Uh, Domingo was the name, Domingo was the name by the Spanish. It hit Saturday or Sunday and rained all day. Oh, okay. So I was wondering what that was before, wasn't I? Thanks for uh, letting me know. I live a hundred miles inland, so we didn't get much. A sign fell over in the road. <laughs> That's not too bad. Oh yeah, I didn't know what that was. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, Damon, Damien Shelley. Hope I'm saying that right. Damien Shelley. Oh yeah. Thanks for uh, comment on the live. G'day Ross. Love your channel. Lived in Guernsey for 12 years as an Aussie expat or skipper. Oh. Miss Guernsey a lot. Watching from Melbourne. Melbourne. Yes. I've I've made it. I've got to the other side of the world with my life. There we go. I'm happy now. Melbourne. Wow. So what's the weather like in Melbourne today? Let me know. I'm guessing it's nicer than here. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, thanks for commenting, Damon. It's cool. Craig Woodhouse, can't stand Yorkshire tea. I'm sorry to admit it. <laughs> you live in Yorkshire, Craig. Well, you don't have to, like, I suppose it's the same here, don't we? I mean, we've got things in Guernsey, like Guernsey bean jar, Guernsey this, Guernsey that. It doesn't mean you like it because you live here. Um, yeah, I just like Yorkshire tea. We, we, get it, we get loads of it, actually. I drink it all the time. <laughs> it's funny. Chloe, the traffic at the moment is absolutely horrendous. I'm with you on that one, Chloe. I am with you. I mean, it's, it's, oh. Well, I had to, I had to take my car down to um, Ford garage, the Ford garage this morning. So I got a bit of a problem with it. So I dropped over and off, went to the Ford garage. I'm in a lone car. Then, yeah, I saw the traffic. It was just like horrendous, eh? Uh, Susan, 
uh love the photos of the rainbows you have shown over guernsey yeah we've had a lot of a lot of rainbows a lot of rainbows and i've been i've been um taking pictures of them and it's nice just to see because obviously with what everything that's going on at the moment it's just been really miserable you know uh, but everyone's back as they met most people had thursday off work here most people didn't go in i mean i had people booked in but i didn't see anyone because um it, well the the states of guernsey were advising people not to go out because of trees down and all stuff like that so it was um do you know what I mean though it, it just wasn't worth it because i mean if you go if you're going to meet someone and the tree comes down their car it's just not worth it although by thursday afternoon um it had it, 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 it eased off. It was just really bad Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon. It wasn't bad. It eased off quite a bit. But yeah, the traffic is really bad here at the moment. Um, and also, obviously, we've had uh, the lot of disruption of the airports and stuff like that. And um, but yeah, I think the the Guernsey Airport recorded gusts of over 100 mile an hour, which is pretty strong, you know. I mean, we had we had winds of 70, 80 mile an hour a few a while ago, and I thought that was bad. But you know, that extra 20 miles an hour on top of the wind speed made some massive. I mean, the gusts were horrific. The gusts, it was just. I got a tree over there which was about to come down. I just saw it. I've done it. Realise, uh, I got a tree in the garden. And I said, all my trees have survived. I was around the garden yesterday and uh, I just saw the ground was off a bit and I pushed a tree and it's like ready to go. It, it, it ripped up all the roots. Uh, Ronald. Hi, Ronald. How's it going? Uh, arriving on Thursday, been visiting since 1966. Will be good to be back. Last there in June of... This year, ah, so you're uh, arriving on Thursday. You timed it right. Just missed all the, the strong winds. Been visiting since 1966. Wow, you are uh, you are a regular to Guernsey. Uh, Chloe took my mum took my mum an hour to get to work, the other day. Yeah, I know, it's. It's weird because I know we haven't got jam up site cities. I know, and so if anyone's watching from a city, they're probably thinking, what are you on about? It's a little island. But we, um, as I've said many a time, we've got, for the size of the island, which isn't very big, we have the most densely populated with vehicles in the world. So it's the most densely populated for the size of the island. So it's got a lot of cars. Uh, Lisa, hi Lisa, watching from Nairobi, Kenya, wow, hello Kenya, I don't think I've ever had anyone from Kenya watching, Nairobi, I hope I've read that right, uh, let me read it again, hello, watching from Nairobi, Kenya, yeah, Lisa, well, welcome, welcome along Lisa to Guernsey, have you ever been to Guernsey? Let me know. Are you planning on coming? Uh, Ronald, staying at the Fermain Valley again. Don't blame you. Ronald, that's a nice hotel. The Fermain Valley is nice. They got little uh, tree hots as well. Don't know if you're staying in those. They're all right. They're quite... They're, they're, the tree hots are really good, but they're like a, a bit of a novelty thing. If you want like luxury I and mean, you, you like a hotel i would stay actually in the hotel but if you just want a bit of a change have a bit of a, a different stay go in the tree hots the tree hots are really nice really good the jersey sean the jersey sean so you're in jersey obviously well, I think you are. Hey, Ross, glad you're safe and well after the storm. Well, if you're in Jersey, yeah. Thanks, Sean. Um, how are you getting on? How, how did you get on in Jersey? I know it was bad. Did you, you get affected? How's your house? Let me know. 
If there's anyone else watching from Jersey as well, let me know if you had any damage to your house because I'm really interested. I love Jersey. Um, been to Jersey loads. Before we had kids and that, we used to go to Jersey all the time. We used to go to Jersey like loads, just for date like trips. We used to go like for like three or four days. You used to stay at the Royal, Royal Yacht Hotel. Loved it. Got the spa there. Then uh, yeah, really like Jersey. I right, we got married in Jer we got married at the Royal Yacht Hotel actually, 2014 in Jersey. Uh, yeah, so the Jersey Sean, we got battered, had a tornado. Yeah. I was talking about that a minute ago. The um, It looked horrendous, mate. It was bad. I mean, apparently what you had, it was heading for us and it went off to you at the last minute. I mean, it's quite weird because we're only like, what, roughly 20 miles apart, the, the islands, Guernsey and Jersey, are about 20 miles apart. On a nice day, you can see Jersey from, from our island here. And it just missed us. Um, but that tornado, I've saw, I've seen some of the video footage of um, what happened to Jersey, and it's awful. Yeah, it's like parts of buildings come off and windows blown in, and ah, oh, proper structural damage. I mean, I saw in the news that um, people were like, "I'm to leave the houses and go and stay in hotels in the middle of the storm." It was that bad; they couldn't stay at the house. Well, yeah, so. Yeah, so Jersey, yeah. Hope hopefully you'll re hopefully um you know the the clean up operation started in Jersey, like it has in most places, and hopefully we won't have a winds like that again for a while. Um I say the last one I remember is the eighty seven one. So they do come around every now and again, don't they? Ian, hi Ian hi, Ian, uh hey, I'm watching from Kent. How do I say that? Uh, Tenterden in Kent. Never been to Kent. Hi, Ian. Thanks for watching, Ian. Yeah. Uh, so Lisa has met, uh, commented again. Uh, and that was Lisa where she was from Kenya, wasn't it? So uh, Lisa said, I haven't been to Guernsey yet, but I'm hoping to come soon. I am your silent follower. <laughs> Kenya is East Africa, just in case anyone is wondering. Yeah, well, I was actually. I know. A, yeah, I knew roughly where it is, but East Africa is more more of a pinpointed area than I thought. Yeah. So, Kenya. Yeah. I mean, um, see it on the news a bit. Kenya. Not. I don't know a lot about it. Uh, obviously, it's not somewhere I've ever been. But yeah, it's, it's good you're coming to Guernsey. Uh, be a lot different experience island life, Lisa. So uh, if you need any, if you got any questions, Lisa, about Guernsey, anything at all, when you come here, you can just message me or ask me on the live. I'll try and do my best to help you. Um, Ian, Ian got married at the Royal Courts in March. We were staying at La Villette. Oh yeah, and... Uh, Came back in September for a week to meet up with our friends who are witnesses. Wow. Got married in March. Congratulations, Ian. Uh, Silvec. Hello, Ross. I'm watching from France. Silvec. Blank. Is it Sil Silve Sylvie? Sorry. Don't know how to pronounce that. But hi from France. Hi to France, even. Yes, where about in France are you? So I've been to a few places in France. I mean, I've got French blood. Um, I'm definitely from. I'm definitely got French in me, if if that's what you want to say. Because uh, obviously, a long time ago, Guernsey was connected to France. I was watching on the History Channel. Um, weird, isn't it? I mean, it, it doesn't. It, it's not a shock because we got a very French influence here. I mean, all the road, most of the road names are French. You see signage in French, very French. So we've we've kept we've kept it, even though we're not connected to France anymore. We have kept the thing, and there's a lot of French surnames here. Um, so like obviously 
it's all stayed. Even though we're disconnected, we've stayed French, I think, pretty much. I mean, we, we don't talk French here. We talk, obviously, uh, English. There was Guernsey French and Guernsey Patois. I think that's disappearing a little bit. But my surname is Philippe. Philippe, P-H-I-L-I-P-P-E. Don't get much French than that, so I'm definitely French. And I know what you're going to say. I should talk French, shouldn't I? I can barely talk English. <laughs> right. I sort of say that before anyone else did. Um, oh, I did say that right. Thanks, Ian. Just as it sounds. Craig, uh, last came to Guernsey. Uh, what's the time? It's fine. I find the time goes so quick on these lives. I've got to check I'm not meant to be right. No, we're fine. Um, Craig, last came to Guernsey 30 years ago. We were hoping to bring the kids next year for their first time on a plane. Probably an Orini from Manchester as a as a local. What do you think of the airline? Orini, I mean, it's all right. It does the job, doesn't it? I mean, it doesn't. I don't think it makes any money. Um, but then it serves the island. Uh, yeah, Orini's fine. It will do. It will get you in one piece, <laughs> which is good. <laughs> it's a plane. Yeah, uh, the airline's fine. Views it all loads. No problem at all. Ian, cheers, Ross. Cheers, Ian. Yeah, we got the Orini, which is a state-owned airline, I think, or Guernsey airline. And uh, I mean, that's always going on about it's not making money and it's been sub bailed out and blah blah blah. But you got to have an airline, I suppose, haven't you? Us being on an island would be pretty bad not having an airline. I have to rely on the boats. So when we had all the winds and the storm, the the boat, the Goodwill, I think it's called Goodwill. Is that right? Carries all the food. So, like, it was panic buying. I don't know what it's like in Jersey, but, oh, God, they were like, it was like, the lockdown again. It was like, people were panic buying the day before the storm because they're worried the boat wasn't going to get in. And, um, like, there was people buying loads of toilet rolls and buying, instead of buying one loaf, they're buying three loaves of bread. And, like, the shelves were cleared out. And there was they were saying on the news, don't panic buy. But it was, yeah, I mean, there was a lot of people on Facebook writing that, you know, I've been to the shop and it's been cleared out. Everyone's selfish. No one's, that's what people do. And I must admit, I did it. I, I went to the shop, which I was going to anyway. And like, because the storm was coming, instead of getting one loaf, I thought, hmm, the shelves might be, because in Guernsey, you can, you, you just wait out for, you're going to a shop if something happens like this. And because the boat doesn't come in, doesn't bring food in, they'll be cleared out. So like, you do think a bit ahead and I bought, I bought enough of a loaf. And I wouldn't, and I froze a loaf, and as it happened, I didn't even, you, the shops were fine the next day. But people were panicking that like, it wouldn't be it would be for days and days. So, yeah. Anyway, it's all fine now. Um, Ian, apparently French was the official language of Guernsey until 1948. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's, there's a few different types, though. There was like, there's French, which is obviously, you know, the one you get in Fra <laughs> France, what might, yeah, you know what I mean? But then there was uh, a Guernsey French, which is a bit different. And there's a Guernsey Patois, it's called, which a lot of the older generation can speak. Although, you, I mean, you want to even speak it. I, when I, because part of my job is going to care homes, and I always ask them if they can speak Guernsey Patois. And uh, you want to hear it. It's, it's, it's like, it's combined with a really strong accent, a Guernsey accent. Uh, and I can't do a Guernsey accent. I mean, obviously, I think, I think I've got a bit of an accent, a Guernsey accent. Let me know, by the way, in the comments, if you think I've got a bit of a weird accent. Obviously, because it's normal for me, like it is for everyone else. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, you from, when I go on holiday, they say, you from Australia, you sound Australian. I was like, No. Or one bloke said to me, you're from London. you got like a really strong London accent. I was like, no, can't quite work out Guernsey accent. But this accent is nothing compared to a strong Guernsey accent. It's amazing to hear. So there's a few different types of French in Guernsey. And one, one woman told me actually that um, depending where you went on the island years ago, there was different languages within the island uh, because we've got parishes like we got like a parish, Vale, then we've got St. Martin's people, all different areas. 
And apparently the, the, the language varied from parish to parish. And it's so small, it's unbelievable, but yeah. I can believe it, really. Um, Susan, they showed it on the national news. Lots of empty shelves. Yeah, they, yeah, I heard they showed it on the on the news about all the panic buying. Um, Sylvie, Victor Hugo wrote the Channel Islands or a piece of France in the sea taken by England. Yeah, got a point, I suppose. Chloe, yes, all it was called the Goodwill. I thought it was. Uh, but someone bought 12 litres of milk because of the storm. <laughs> Quite a lot of milk. Obviously going for a lot, lots of cups of tea and cereal and what else, God knows what else. Yeah, cleared the shelves. So the shelves, they showed it on the news, the shelves were clear. It's, like, it's so funny. It's like, this is where the, this is where the meat used to be, or the cleared, like empty. This is where the empty, and there's like people saying, I can't buy any milk, can't buy any bread. Um, I managed to go in the day, which was quite handy. But I think if you had to, I think if you had to wait till like the night time. Um, you now if you finish work at five, I went at half five, it was cleared. I went in the morning and there was pretty much nothing there, so I didn't really um, wasn't too much of a big deal for me really. But yeah. Uh, but apart from that, if and sort of. Not too bad in Guernsey now. Um, so it's looking pretty, the sea is rough today. It is rough. I wouldn't fancy going out on the boat. Susan, I think there was one lonely, <laughs> I think there was one lonely, <laughs> sorry, I'm just laughing as I read this. I don't know why I'm laughing at this. I think I've been doing this live too long. I'm going a bit, I'm going a bit crazy. I think there was one lonely turnip amongst, amongst, the lid, the lid of empty baskets. Yeah, there's a lonely turnip left in the shop. Oh, you meant load, yeah. Uh, uh, so she, well, I think there's one lonely turnip amongst the load of empty baskets. I thought I was reading that wrong. Yeah, I know. And it's probably, it's got something wrong with it, that turnip, isn't it? People would leave the rubbish ones, though. they leave all the rubbish potatoes. There's always something, when you're desperate, you just take them, don't you? Or which maybe we should go back to growing stuff in our gardens now, do you think? Did cross my mind. When something like that happens, eh? You realise how like vulnerable you are to like boats coming in for food. Then you think actually you should grow your own and rely on it. But it's easier to go to the shop these days. That's the problem, isn't it? It's convenience. Uh, wow, I'm really pleased it's live today. I say I've never done a live in the morning, ever, since I've had the channel. I've always done them in the evenings in the shed. But um Got a nice load of people on, yeah, really good. And I, I didn't actually give any warning for this one, so what I'll try and do, I might do a live every every week this time. I might do, I can't guarantee it, but what I'll do, if I do, I will uh, schedule it and you'll be able to see that it, there is a live coming. Um, I scheduled it half an hour before today, so what you can do, you'll see it on your YouTube thing. It'll say Ross is going to, or Living Guernsey is going to be live at 10 o'clock on a date. And you can um, wait or you can click a button and say notify me. So as soon as I go live, you'll be known. But I didn't give much notice today. It's only half an hour. But um, I will plan it better next time. And I might schedule it the day before. So you'll see Living Guernsey is going to be live tomorrow. You can click notify, then you won't miss it if you're home. I was wondering, I, I don't know if many people will be home this time of day, but I think a lot of people watch the channel uh, home in the day, in the mornings, so it works well. And it's perfect for me, because it's peaceful here. If I tried doing this tonight, in here, wouldn't happen. The, 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 the camera would probably be knocked on its side, and kids running around, it's just impossible. This is perfect. It's the only time I get any peace. It's the only time I get to talk when I do these lives. It's the only time anyone listens to me. <laughs> Don't tell my wife I said that, will you? Right. Um, she's not here, she's gone. As long as she doesn't watch this on the replay. Uh, Craig, what's wrong with the car? My friend had the same and it's an issue with the stereo turning itself off, which a dealer couldn't fix, so he bought a Hyundai instead. The car, um, it's just missing. It's When you accelerate, it's 
So you know, like if your first second you go, off you go, it's going, it's like hesitating. It's, it's been quite annoying. It's been like that since I bought it, actually. I haven't had it very long at all. So I took it in. I, I went in weeks ago. I went in weeks ago to tell them about it and they booked me in. But yeah, they've been really good. They've been really good. They said, yeah, we'll have a, we'll have a drive it and see what you think. Uh, but it's definitely doing it. It's, it's you know, one of those things that like, it, it bogs you. It really bogs you, stuff like that. But it accelerates. Like, uh, 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 uh. It's very short little missing. It's like missing or hesitating. And, uh, it's just, yeah, so we'll see what they say. I've got a loan car. I've got a Ford Puma. I love it. To be honest with you, I'm seriously considering asking if I can buy a Ford Puma. And just, the Ford is amazing. The Fiesta's fine, but the Puma's like so much nicer. It's bigger. And uh, it goes a lot better. I love it. I drove it. I really like the Ford Puma. It's just bigger. Um, Steampunk. Good day, Ross. Good day. You're not in Australia or anywhere by any chance, are you? Ian, I work from home. Well, there you go. Perfect. Working from home. You can just have me on the side and you can work from home and listen to my whatever I'm talking about. Passes a bit of time, doesn't it? Uh, Chloe, my grandma, she went to her shopping at M&S and the shelves were empty. The only thing she could get was broccoli sat on its own. <laughs> yeah, a broccoli sat. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You go there and there'll be a broccoli sat there on its own or there'll be a carrot <laughs> that's a weird shape that no one's wanted. And you just think, oh, I can't be bothered. Yeah, I know, it's cleared, isn't it? Chloe, yes, has kept me company this morning. Well, that's good, Chloe. I'm pleased I've helped someone. Otherwise, I just wouldn't have been doing anything. I don't know what I've been doing. I've been doing something. But yeah, um, yeah. I, as I say, I watch quite a few lives. There's um, there's a guy in Jersey, uh, a few channels. Someone asked me what channels I watch on YouTube. Um, I watch a lot. I, I watch quite. I, I actually watch YouTube more than I watch telly. But my brother, I was telling my brother about, it, and he's like my younger brother Mark, and he was like, no, I don't even ever watch YouTube. I said, what? You don't ever watch me? He's like, I try not to. No. <laughs> But some people don't. Some people just don't watch YouTube. I mean, I just find it really good because I watch like loads of stuff. I watch about the Second World War. I mean, there's anything. Eh? Anything you type into YouTube search, you can find. If you want to know how to put a railing up, a curtain rail up, there'll be a video on it. If you want to know how to wash your cushions, there'll be a video on it. If you want to know how to make a nice cup of tea, Yorkshire tea. Right, look at this. There's a video on it. This is this is my favourite cup. That's what I'm drinking this morning. You see? See what it says? Smile. One of my clients bought me that. Uh, Katie and Julie bought me that for a Christmas present. Yeah, so I watch it quite a lot. But yeah, I mean, getting back to the channels I watch, um, I watch, who do I follow? Who do I watch quite a lot? I watch the Mac Master quite a bit. I don't know if you've ever seen him. The Mac Master, M-A-C Master. He goes around doing all sorts, like um, goes around to make food reviews, and he just f he's, he's does YouTube all time, full time. Watch him quite a bit. Darren John, I watch. Um, I watch um, a guy here does fishing, smash fishing. He's Guernsey. He's from Guernsey. You may have seen him. The CI fishing. There's quite a few others. Uh, quite a few fishing channels here in Guernsey. Um, who do I watch? I started watching you on By the Curb, I think it's called as well. Uh, it's funny because you, even if you're not interested, you know, I started watching this bloke who lives in a van and he drives around and uh, he just filming what he does. And I, I got no interest in what I got no interest in vans and I got no interest in nothing. But you sort of get into it, a bit, don't you? You sort of get to know them and like, like probably similar to this. You sort of watch their lives and you feel like you, and you end up watching them and you, you got no really interest in what they're. I got no interest in vans, but you know, you just listen to someone. It's nice to. I think it's nice to see different parts of the world. That's what I like. Like if someone's doing a video vlogging like England somewhere, I think oh, it's, it's quite interesting because you probably wouldn't see 
you're seeing a real life version, aren't you? It's not like highly produced. These aren't like Hollywood videos. It's just a normal person filming where they live and I think you get a real life look at, at what it's like in certain areas that's what I like it's not like it's not over public it's not over pro produced is it normally people just walk along the street with a camera like me and it is what it is you see exactly it's not edit I don't edit a lot of my videos and you know, walking through town I've, I've got very limited editing on any of my videos I just what I film is what I show I might cut out the end bit or the you know if I'm shaking around I might cut that bit out I, I don't edit anything I say, like the lives. You can't edit a live. This is what it is, and this is sort of how I am my videos. And in my videos, if I ever talk to the camera, I am, I never, ever do two takes. It's one take. And people are like, don't you like work out what you're going to say? I said, I'll briefly think what I'm going to say, then I'll do it. Um, got a message there. We'll see you later. Yes. <laughs> I'm going mad. They're not even watching. That's a, that's a messenger. They're not even watching the video. But I'm, a bit, I'm going crazy. I'm, I'm going crazy, I think. I now haven't even had a beer. I think I feel like a beer, uh, like a drink. But I can't, I've got work. <laughs> I'm not, I don't normally drink in the morning. It's just normally I do a live, I have a, I have a beer or, or something, don't I? That's the only thing doing in the mornings, I can't have a beer. Well, a cup of tea, a cup of tea is just as good, as, I suppose. Uh, where are we at? God, these messages, we've got loads, this is so good. It's really good when you get messages because it keeps me talking. <laughs> if I got any messages, I sort of go, I can't what to say. It gives me subjects to talk about. So keep them common. I love them. Um, time to view the Guernsey car mechanics instead of fish and chip shops. That is a good idea. Uh, yeah, it's Kitty Company. Did you get your chimney cleaned in the end? Watch the video the other day. Yeah, I did. They did clean it. But I don't know if I'll use them again. That's another story, isn't it? I've still got my cat. Craig, watch the Mac Master 2. Love the electric diesel versus John O'Groats. Yeah, the Mac Master. He, yeah, yeah, you watch him. He's really popular. I think he's got like 130 subscribers. It's a massive amount. 30,000, sorry, I should say. Um, Chloe, my YouTube. Uh, YouTube is my go-to as well. Yeah. Like, it's very rare I'll sit down and... Um, Put on Sky. I mean, we've got Sky, with channels, but it's very rare. My, my, my normal thing is I'll come home, turn on YouTube. And I don't watch my own videos. I've had enough of me. I don't watch my own ones, but I watch other people's. But yeah, I mean, it's good at the moment. Um, in Guernsey, I mean, what have I been doing? It's like three years, this channel. And recently... Um, I'm getting a lot, meeting a lot of people who watch my channel, and then I, I didn't get anything for a while. Obviously, when the channel, but the channel's like quite a few people are watching it now in Guernsey, and I, it's quite nice. Uh, people are coming up to me, saying I watch your channel. Like it's very rare I go out anywhere now, and I, someone won't come up to me and say oh, I watch your channel. It's really good, and yeah, blah blah blah. It's it's nice. It's uh, and a lot of them have been watching me for years, like years, like since I started my channel. So like they start telling me stuff I can't even remember about. Like a lot of them know know what I've done. A lot of them know more about what I've done than I do, because you know I may have spoken about something on a video two and a half years ago, and they'll say, "Oh, I really enjoyed the video you did when you walked around." And um, I say, "I generally can't remember that." But then all of a sudden I might remember it. But yeah, it's good because they know all about the f they know about me the dog. Dog, they know like oh, they know the name of my dog, which is really weird when you get like it's not a stranger, but sometimes it feels like it is because they're like, How's Lily? How's fun? Like, and you've never met them, but they've obviously watched you, so you got to get your head around that people know a lot more about you than you know about them. But that's how, how YouTube is, and I, I really like it. And I normally have like selfies with people, which is I still can't get my head around. <laughs> so, you want a selfie with what? Who, hey, me, hey. Yeah, I want a selfie because I want to say that I met you because I live in England. I'm a lot of people on holiday here and they live in the UK. And they're like, oh, they're, my wife like, is back in the UK and we both watch you. We watch you all the time. And uh, she's not going to believe I met you on a picture. <laughs> and my wife's like, oh, don't make his head any bigger. <laughs> He's selfie. She goes, what's happened to him? You think he's a celebrity? <laughs> I don't think I'm a celebrity. I just, I just amaze people even recognise me, to be honest. Um, Chloe, it's pouring down again. Yet yeah, the Matt Master, someone else is watching Matt Master, looking for his one pound pint. Good channel. A uh, one, yeah, one dollar pint. Is it? 
or one euro. No, one euro pint he looks for, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, I'd probably the same. If I met the map master, I'd be a bit starstruck, I reckon. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's funny, isn't it? But he probably doesn't think he's anything like all oh, week, you know. You don't, do you? When you're doing, you just think it's normal and people view you slightly differently because they watch you on TV and stuff. But I love it. I mean, I, I sort of was built for doing this, I think. I always loved cameras and YouTube. I loved being in front of a camera. And when I was a kid, my mum said, you love cameras. You, so, like, YouTube, for me, is like a hobby. I love it. I mean, this is not work. Not work at all. I just enjoy it. Yeah, YouTube pays you a bit of money, but it's not a lot. It helps, you know, fills your car with fuel. But um, I love it. I'm gonna keep going with it, actually, forever. Some people say, oh, do you, do you fed up with doing videos? Said, no, it's weird. I don't. And that's why I know this YouTube is perfect for me. Uh, I love, like this, you can put, I love it, yeah? This is, this is just me, how I talk. So if you ever, yeah, you know, if you ever like meet me, this is how I, how I am, this is it. I'm like, put on a, well, yeah, I mean, you slightly, you're slightly elevated when you're on camera, aren't you? You're slightly an elevated version of yourself. I don't always chat this much, obviously. But this is pretty much it. Um, anyway, what? Oh, look, there they are. I said I was going to do an hour, and what we, it says I've done 57 minutes. So I'm off to the gym. So, as usual, thank you for everyone that's commented, or even if you haven't commented, thanks for watching. And I'll try and do this one again. I might do this one next week, same time, because it's perfect timing for me. And what I'll do is, um, if I ever do one in the evening, I'll schedule them as well but i think that these are really good it's just good good for me and uh yeah thank you for watching all around the world oh my god kenya melbourne i mean this unbelievable thank you for uh tuning in yeah i mean i appreciate it i love it because without you watching this would be a pretty boring uh live wouldn't it hang on I've turned, I've thrown my iPad down. I need it because I'm getting more comments. Um, yeah, you're welcome. Thank you to everyone for watching. I uh, hope you have a nice day. And I'll see everyone next time for the live. We've got a few videos coming up as well. But yeah, anyway, nice to see everyone. Take care. And um, I'll see you again on the next live or the next video.